Hey everyone, today's episode is about cinematography. It's about close-ups. Um, close-ups are a way to read better the conversations that people have. I hope the videos in the beginning of this little film, they help to explain a little bit about close-ups and how close-ups can help you to uh, convey emotion better to your audience and have them feel what it is that's going on rather than just watch it. Um, close-ups allow you to really microscopically engage with your, um, your characters in your story. And when you really want to punch in on something and allow the audience to feel or get a message, sometimes a close-up is a good way to do it. And on that note, there's also a lot of situations where you just want to be on a wide or a medium um, where you don't need to punch in, you don't need to. Don't just think you need coverage because you need coverage. Though having coverage gives the editor more options. But on a low budget, but low budget, a little budget, a low budget film. Um, sometimes though, when you're running out of time, if you know how you're gonna edit it, uh, sometimes you can get the shots that you need to build your scene and still convey the motion that you want to and um, stay, on, stay on time with your film shoot. So understanding why you use different ones is uh, very important. Close-ups to really get in and uh, allow the audience to fill um, those things the character's experiencing, uh, medium uh, allows them to see possibly two characters in the same uh, moment, um, or wide, allow your audience to feel how lonely the character feels in a big open area. Anyhow, that's the episode guys, subscribe if you really liked it, uh, thumbs up as well, and uh, don't thumbs down, or if you do, just press it twice because that actually allows YouTube to know that you really hated it. And then um, hit the comments and type in a message saying, I love this video because it uh, makes my day. Like Glenn Eastwood said, make my day. Make my day. See you guys.